Hey guys, today we're talking about my favorite places to go for margarita in the Colorado Springs area. I'll sprinkle a couple places up in the mountains too. Stay tuned to the end and you'll get to hear all about it. Hey guys, I'm James Dean, team leader of the James Dean Mountain Homes team. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Just really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscription button down below, hit that notification bell. That keeps you updated on all the new videos that we have coming out weekly. Uh, we've got several that come out each week um, on this channel, so please, please stay up to date with that. Also, if you've got any questions whatsoever that are real estate related or just in the community, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and give us a call. You can either call us at 719-266-2725 you could text us to that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net. Please, whatever you got to do to get those questions to us, please ask. We're here to help. We're here to provide value to you and in helping you make informed decisions, whether you're looking to buy or sell real estate or just typical questions for the community out here. We are local experts of this area and we love this area. So please, please, please reach out to us and we hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so today, guys, we're talking about my favorite places to go for margarita in the Colorado Springs area in East Easily number one, Crystal Park Cantina. By far one of our favorite places to grab a margarita. They are fresh. That is a key item that has to be done in order for me to even drink margarita. I get bad heartburn if they put the mix and the, the sours and all that stuff in there. These have to be completely juice only and a homemade margarita for them to even make it on this list. But Crystal Park Cantina is by far the best one in the Colorado Springs area in my opinion. Now, secondly, we've got a, well, I guess I would say there's a tie for two and, and the rest of them are really going to be at two. So I'm pretty picky with my margaritas and what I have and what I do out there. And I got a couple other interesting ones to kind of throw out there. So we just tried this last week, the new restaurant that's called Green, I think it's, it's Verde, Cantina Verde, sorry, I had to remember the name. It's in Green Mountain Falls. They have very unique margaritas up there that are pretty cool and interesting and specific as well. They've got a top shelf margarita. They make all of theirs fresh as well, but they have one that's actually made with uh, cilantro and ginger. It's got a little bit of heat to it. My wife got it and it was incredible. It's super bright green. It almost looks very, very healthy when it comes out. So that's a really interesting one to give a shot to as well. Another place is Ambly. Now Ambly's got, they're not a Mexican style restaurant, but they've got some incredible margaritas because they do a lot of things with a mixologist that make them very unique and they're extremely fresh. One of my favorite ones I ever had there was a prickly pear margarita that was insane with how good it was. And I'm not big on sweet. It wasn't over sweet. It had a lot of great flavors in that too. That was really, really cool and definitely something to try out. They've also had some pineapple jalapenos that are there too that are extremely good as well. Another place really close to Ambly is going to be Hacienda's. So Hacienda also does some very good fresh juice margaritas, uh, which are extremely good. The Tres Amigos is by far our favorite there, and it uses all three different types of the Casamigos tequila when it actually goes into it. So it's a hard one to get sometimes. Sometimes they don't have all three of those margaritas, but it is a very good one. Another great place is that is our My Neighbor Felix. Excuse me, it's another new one that's over by the Briargate area in the Promenade. They do some extremely good margaritas there as well. Some very fresh ones that are awesome that are certainly good to try. You've seen our video recently talking about those as well. They've got lots of different exotic margaritas. My wife actually got a, I think it was a coconut margarita that's actually made with co real coconut juice or coconut water in there too. That was pretty, pretty good as well. Uh, they got an elderberry there too, and then they've got some very good top shelf margaritas uh, there that we've gotten a chance to enjoy. And finally, Vaqueros is the last place I want to talk about. They've got some fantastic margaritas as well. I'm not a big Mezcal fan because uh, I don't like too smoky my stuff, but they've got a Mezcal margarita that's got a Serrano pepper in there that's not too spicy, but that combination of the spice with the sweetness with the smoke flavor is incredible. And that is another fantastic place to get margaritas. 
So I hope you gave, I gave you some great places to go out and try. If you haven't tried some of those, definitely get out there. It's worth it. Get out there, have a margarita, and uh, let them know that we sent you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video. And once again, before you sign off, make sure you hit that subscription button, that notification down, bell down below. That will keep you updated on all the new videos that we have come out that are here to inform you and help keep you updated on what's happening here, both in the community and in real estate as well. And once again, too, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call, 719-266-2725. You can text us at that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all of those questions. We're here to serve you, and we look forward to helping you soon.